Oh, you got to love this country. It really is pretty in a lot of places. So I'm up here. It's never wanted to come for a while. Well, that was a hell of a walk, but I made it, so... I'm not getting any higher. It's actually quite hard to get through there. You know the sun's just up around that corner when the clouds go away. Found a nice looking spot. Nice big rock right across there. Don't know if it's bend rock or not. Removed some boulders from there. I'm going to have a wee digging pump in here, see what's in there. I've got a pan. It's interesting stuff in here. You can actually see the quartz all the way through that, isn't it? Not really. See what's in the bottom though. Right, should be able to do that one handed now. Some nice interesting stones as I said. I should really try and show you them if I'm going to say that, shouldn't I? It's not a quartz. I think I'm going to find anything? Maybe a micro dot. But you never know until you try. I hope it's not good, I don't really want to come up here all the time, miles away. But I need to know. Right, let's get this done. Yeah, left with just heavies. Let's have a quick check. Quick check. Interesting, there's gold, see? Try and get a better shot of that. It's very rough. Well, that's annoyingly awesome. For such an easy pan. Certainly had worse results than that. Very good. Well, we're onto something here, folks. Let's, uh, stuck in. Sure if I find anything else. See there, it's dropping, dropping in steps. And this is the first point where it kind of gets flat, is right here. And this is the first obstacle. That's one pan, just one pan at right there. And it's flat again for a wee bit and then it goes down again. So there will be better spots. Ah, there's three dots of gold in there, I don't know if you can see them. I'll try and get a good close up on this. Absolutely not. Yeah, we've got one there, and we've got two beside it, one there. It's very hard to see because it's small, but it'll get a bit deeper, you never know. Don't know why I didn't bring my adventure source today. I'm adventuring. That should be nice though. We'll get it caught in the top mat. I'm just going to throw a load of this through, classify it. Maybe I should have just gone up there and stood in the sun. If it was the effort. I need to have a look. We we'll do that now. You buggers gonna make me do that? I think you are. See if I wasn't filming this I'd just stay here. I'll show you this first. So interesting stones. Most interesting when I found is that. Doesn't look like much, does it? Did you see that's an interesting stone? Look at the other side. Not interesting. Pretty cool. Don't know what it is. Nice and smooth. Anyway, I'm gonna do a few more, run some, and then, then we'll go up there. Then we'll go up to the sun. I want it to get flat, and then that's where all the gold will be. Try and use my belly as a background. There's some interesting conglomerate. See all the quartz in it. It's also not come far, it's still very rough, as you would expect. I mean, that spawn goes up a wee bit, but I imagine there's not enough force around it. It's been here since it was put here in the Ice Age. Very cool. Right, almost got a bucket. Right, so my game plan and why I'm doing it. Essentially, I'm going to go check up there because I said I would. I've not seen any bedrock past just down in this dip down here. All the bedrock's been washed clean because of the speed the water's going through it. There's no gravels in it. That's why there's bedrock there, because it's exposed it. But it's well worth having a wee look to see what's in, in that area. Because it is getting a bit flatter once it gets down there. 
just start with that because it's actually quite pretty, isn't it? So, I'm going to say it's not bedrock, but as I said before, this is where it's flattened out. That's why this is here. It's a big boulder that. So I'm working between these two boulders. It's been a long time, you'll see how rounded it is. Did I try and speak there or just... You see how rounded it is. I tried to say rounded off. That was partly too much for me, rounded off. Right, so I've hit this pocket of hard stones. So I'm going to have to wait for it to clear and see what's there. Not particularly worried about running my tailings into this because I'm just prospecting. I'm going to let it clear first and see what we can see. So on that note, let's go for a wander. Wander time. I should just go that way. I don't want to go that way. I'd rather just walk up the bin. Up the bin. I fell on my bum once. It was a slow fall. Yeah, there's bedrock. This is an interesting bit. Well, there you go, I don't need to go much further. I'm just gonna go here. It's basically a bedrock gully here. It does make me want to look higher though. I'm gonna do it, I think. I know other gold channel gives you this kind of non-content content. This is the start of the bedrock, you can see this is where the big rocks are dropping out, there's a kind of an undercut there, full of boulders. See if this camera cuts off again when I point in this hole, I'm going to throw it at the fucking stone, honestly. You can see the river forces its way through there. Well, the camera hasn't cut off. <laughs> it's winding me up, I'm not going to lie. So I might have a dig here. I'll go there next. It's a bit tricky to get up there though. I don't really want to do it. That's the path I'd have to walk up and over to get up there. And that's where I was standing there where the waterfall is. Because my hole has cleaned out a bit so you can actually see what's in here. No, nope, absolutely not. Let's turn around. You can see the stone in the bottom. There's a huge rock there. And there's still gravels in there. Not the best with the sun shining, unfortunately. Almost got a bucket though. Interesting stuff. Came for a sluice. Don't see many of them. Red spiders. That's good. The steepness of that actually allows it to roll, which is good. Well, three dots in the test pan. I want to see at least ten in this bucket. A big bit, you never know. Can't complain about that. Yeah, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. I'm up here. Now, I was tempted just to do these gravels behind this boulder here. Because it's obviously going through that hole that I showed you. Now, this is quite tempting. So I've moved the rock from here. You see the bedrock? The bedrock runs right across to here. So I'm going to dig this out. Why not? I'm going to run a bucket, which means carrying a bucket back down to there. Which will be fun, because I've already fell over. I must have soaked myself. That went right over my welly, that stone I stood on slipped. It was quite sore. Luckily I didn't break anything. Imagine breaking your ankle all the way up here, in the cars. Over there. I would be kind of screwed. I'd be careful in this hobby. With the end of you. No joking. Okay, bucket. And then I'm going to run it all through the same sluice and see what's in it. In case you were wondering, my skin's so soft, leaked all over my bag. Stuff's pretty waterproof, like. Can't shift it. I'm going to get a cloth. You see under there, see all those gravels tightly packed in there? That doesn't help. Yeah, those ones. That's also when the water's coming down, it's forcing it back in. Interesting. I'm actually looking to see if there's any dangerous rocks above me. 
And there's quite a lot of rock falls in these areas, you can see they just peel off of there. Dodgy. Let's get out of here as quick as we can. So I'm slowly learning, so I thought I'd try and educate. This is ochre, or ochre, however you want to pronounce it. See, it's not an ironstone, but it bleeds. Nice, eh? It's what you would use for cave painting. If you were that way and cleaned, you'd paint your cave walls. Really, you could take that home. I don't know where I'm going to put it, mind you, but... There we are. Ochre. 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 You try. I do believe I've got to the stage with this channel where only the ones that are watching and the ones watching. So I'm just going to show you what I'm interested in. More of that ochre. <laughs> Look at that. It's a big chunk. Very cool, isn't it? It's coming home. I'm going to make a mess with it. See, got my other one. And some interesting quartz. A lot of interesting stones around here though. There's this one as well. Anybody know what that is? It's fairly light. Interesting shine about it though. Well, the weather's changed a wee bit as you can see. It's going to be a bit wet, but we'll get my bucket. Brought everything else back over so I don't have to carry it with it. And we'll run it up two buckets in a pan. I found gold in my first pan. So it'll be a nice clear out. Just you wait. Lucky there. That little bit of bedrock was just a bowl which had a bucket's worth in it. So anything that's got in there should still be in there. I'm expecting to see some gold. Let's get this done. It's nice to actually see some in the mat. I won't be holding my breath. Are you a dancer? It's just changed. There we go, the rain's going over that way. I can feel it spitting, but it's not going to hit me. That's a win. Ah, oh, it's lovely, eh? That place. Right, let's get this bucket done. Procrastinating. Okay. Go off had a dig there. Not seeing very much. I did see this. That's nice. That's good in the pocket, it's wee enough. And there's that lump of quartz that was in there. There you go. Right, get this panned out and see what we've got. Nope, not seeing anything. Nice line of sulphides and black sand though. Yep, nope. not the richest spot. I shan't be back! No fun though. I say I shan't be back, I shan't be back at this spot. I might go higher up. Okay. You can see where it's been falling off. It's quite recent. That's where all of that's from. Ah, what can I say? I like sluicing. So it's obviously not the most loaded burn, this. Because with that kind of water flow, I'd be seeing gold all over this. Which is a bit, bit annoying, but I mean, yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? From what I found in that pan, there's got to be some of these cells. But you'll just have to wait. You can see that over the bag. It's like I've murdered a stone and put it in a bag. I actually have a bag though. It's from a wee midgy head thing. There it is. Doing a thing. Ah, oh, I might stay here a bit longer now. You can almost see down in that hole. Right, 
what is in the black mat. Just take it nice and easy. No rush. I do want to be home in time for school pickups though, so I think I'll be heading pretty soon. As soon as I found gold, I know it's here. I'll come back when I've got more time. But I did have to do a couple of buckets just to see what there is, see what sort of quantities there is. Well, I've been very, very careful without my bucket. Eh? <laughs> I think I might only have one bit in here, I don't want to lose it. I don't think there'll be much in the black mat. I mean, there's black sands. Interesting burn. Not seeing anything though. I'll give it a wee look and then we'll get the blue mat. Oh, wait a minute. That's uh, interesting, isn't it? See it? A piece of ironstone. Let's pack that up. It's quite an interesting piece. Look at that, eh? We're better under the water. Pocket it off. Yes. <laughs> See anything as I expected in the black mat? To the blue mat. Nice ironstone. Place to be. Done very little. So just taking that wee hole out. Another bucket up there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not seeing anything. We'll have a wee clean back. Isn't that weird? It's how it always works. Do a pan, find some gold. Do two buckets, find nothing. No, I'm not seeing anything. So, that was from that spot and the one further up on the bedrock. Which is unfortunate. Not as rich as I was hoping. But probably not picking the right spots. There you go, prospecting. That's the game we play. I don't have the time to put any more effort in. But from what I've done, it's not the richest burn. That's the bottom of my hole. That's the other side coming back up again. I hope you enjoyed a wee trip up the hills. Beautiful place to be in a day like this. Could be happier. See you in the next one.